Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a good talk about the next upcoming surprise ticket. Uh, funny enough, I actually did a, I guess a, a mini version of this on my stream earlier today because somebody mentioned that Graham Blue didn't have really good in-app purchases. But I did mention that surprise ticket really good value for your dollar um, in this game actually in this game and that um that the, he mentioned that there was not really good units in the normal gotcha pool so I, I went over it a little bit for him but strong units that are in the normal gotcha pool so i'll be doing that again today i'm gonna primarily try to focus on water first and then i'll go look at the other elements because we do have guild wars coming up in a month and it's being fired meaning that water is going to drown it out so i'm gonna try to focus on water units and then we'll look at the other elements now recommendations for water water is a really weird situation right you have people who have dog who tend to have an ogie build you have the staff team where you have people who have they kind of mix autos with ogie a little bit of both you know and then you have people who play sword who hate their life because they don't have dog or staff units and they cry every time about how much bad and how bad water is and then you have the people who have the GW characters who hate themselves for making the characters because then now they're irrelevant. <laughs> you got a you got a little heap of everything for water. You got the haters, you got the staff, you got the dogs. So I'm trying to cater to every little group. Now, in turn, I'm gonna try to grade every unit from A, B, and C for water. We're gonna start this really easy off at the grade A pick being Lily. See, it's pretty much the best unit you can really go for for water. See, well, pretty much, she got debuffs, she got cut, she got clear, she got buffs, she got everything. And she does relatively really good damage. A really high OE cap, five star, you know. She got pretty good damage. Uh, one thing I will note about her is that she does not have bonus damage or any of the, her skills. So, people who like to abuse Shiva, you know, you're not going to be able to abuse it as hard with Lily. Add you would with like another unit like Europa and stuff like that. So she's still a really good unit though. She covers about everything you need. You she'll make Mamoru 100 a, a, a cakewalk. So mainly because her skill one is so strong, really strong skill. And see her applying attack down stackable and defense down stackable, as well as applying multi attack down. People tend to forget, but her skill this right here does lower multi attack. So really good and she clears too which really help with the triggers because generally um guild war bosses they tend to apply a lot of debuffs so pretty pretty good pretty good that's grade a i don't even think any other unit is grade a here i think only lily is grade a and then everything starts to fall down a little bit harder so a grade b pick and we're looking at sword it'll be a sword and dagger unit, Lancelot. Now, Lancelot, he's a good unit, but he doesn't have nearly as much utility as somebody like Lily. He more comes with damage instead of utility. He still has utility as stackable attack down and stackable defense down. Dodge still good utility, but he kind of had it himself rather than like something like cut, clear, heals. He don't got that. All he has is debuffs and a dodge for himself. So if you're looking to be Mr. MVP, get more damage out, more damage than your, your friends. Um, you want to run the Ultima staff, I mean, Ultima sword team or dagger. You know, people want to run him with Quatre, all three of you. <laughs> um, he's not a bad option to go with. So no, he's there. He's a great B pick for me though. I mean, he's okay, but he ain't that great. Now, another great B pick will be Altair. Good old Altair, 2017 character. Two years ago, he was good. Now he's uh, okay. <laughs> still a solid unit. He still got the, uh, the crit on his Ogi, attack buff, water attack buff, defense down, reliable enough. Keep in mind his attack down is only 20% down, while his defense down is 30, 20 from the mist, and 10 from the def water defense down. So if you bring Arrow Rain 3, you're only doing 45 attack down. This is very important because, you know, depending on your build, you want you don't usually want to take damage on water. And when you don't cap, 
fully, you tend to take more damage. His skill 3 ain't bad though. It's charge bar, charge bar boost is all. Who doesn't want more charge bar to Ogi, right? So, still okay unit. He's mainly used on a staff team. You can also throw him on Dog and Greya as a debuffer, though I prefer Lily now in current meta. I think Lily is a better uh, debuffer right now. But the problem with Lily on Dog and Greya is that Lily does not get to proc her skill 2 twice because Dog, I'm gonna call Greya and Dog, I'm gonna call Greya and her count as a unknown and that does not proc her passive, unfortunately. I got a little bit confused there. Um, but yeah, I'll, try, I'll just call him a grade B, grade B unit. Now, other than that, another grade B unit is actually S. Mackie. Now, S. Mackie, she has not the highest damage output, but she has consistent damage, and she has a lot of utility coming from Cold Cage. Now, do note that Cold Cage is not going to work the same way because if you have um, S. Mackie, the call, the uh, the call, the the summon, it's not gonna it's, it's gonna give the boss more resistance to her Cold Cage. So that's the thing. Do know that she also has the same debuff as um, the same debuff as Lily, which is the multi attack down. She does apply max charge diamonds, which is gravity. Not bad. She has delay too. It's also okay as well. But you know, mainly you're really looking to use her for the cold cage, and she's okay. She has a lot of utility, so gravity is really helpful. She doesn't have the spell though, so that's unfortunate. And for, I think that's about it. I, I guess grade C for water would be like, he, he'll be a grade C surprise ticket choice. He has okay damage, mainly getting his damage like Percival from a skill three. Uh, He doesn't have a double nuke, unfortunately, on Ogi like Percival, but he does come with Cold Cage as well. So, you know, it's maybe useful for like Nightmare 90 to get a, a faster Nightmare 90 time. So you don't have to worry about triggers and stuff like that. He does have the um, water attack boost on chain burst. So he's okay, but I'll say great C at most. I'll have to use them in a video. So he's, he's okay. And in terms of notable water units, eh, that's about it really for surprise to get. Everyone else I don't feel are nearly as good to be honest, like, like they're okay, like Silva's okay, but I, I wouldn't recommend a surprise ticket for a mediocre unit. Like if you want a surprise ticket something, it's either for your big D, big D, this is, the, this is my big D pick. If you're going for big D, pick her, pick her, please. Let's make her popular so she get the summary outfit. But um, depending on like the, depending on what a surprise ticket, Choice. It should be either your big D or big P, whatever. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter to me. Female version. Or um, you should be picking for something that can really carry your team or really just fill in that missing gap in your team. And generally the units, I mean, the units that I did not mention, they don't fill that role. Like Silva, she doesn't really fill that role. She's another attacker. She doesn't really support the team. She does a good damage, but she doesn't really support the team. Uh, most of the units are too slow. Like, she's too slow, too slow. So, Starlet is also another attacker. She kind of has a defense down. But, I mean, everybody got defense down now. <laughs> everybody got it. So, the having defense down is not good enough when, like, every other unit in your element has defense down and attack down. So, it's okay, but that's my opinion. Hopefully, I didn't ramble on too long. Um, we're gonna look at the other elements now. So we're gonna look at fire. Fire is still the same thing. Athena, Athena, Athena. If you don't, if you don't got Athena, and you got your water team ready to go, get Athena. Get Athena. There's no reason not to have Athena. She's amazing. She's amazing. Now she's not the best damage per turn in the crazy fire element, but for everything else, solo included, hard content, she's a god unit. <laughs> She's a 10 out of 10 god unit for anything that's even remotely challenging. So, Athena 
is really, really good. Get Athena. Get Athena. There's no reason to not have Athena. Now, I'll consider her a grade S. Yeah, I said a grade S. She's, she's above A. She don't even get A. That's she's S. Now, everyone else in Fire is like grade B. <laughs> to be honest. Because Fire Limited's Anula, Shiva. I guess Alon is technically unlimited right now. Um, they're too strong. They're too strong. Compared to everyone else, they just, everything else looks bad. <laughs> so, it's really hard to mention anyone on fire. Like, she's a good unit for Fa normal. Um, bonus damage, 80%. Guaranteed TA. Not a bad unit. Agni uses her. So, if you're an Agni user and you want a strong unit for MVP and, like, normal Fa, she's okay. But that's about it. Um, other than that, no one else here really notable that I would like tell you to go out your way to get. I guess if you're like a Fire Fist user and you really want to build a Fire Fist team, Gray is not a bad pick at all, but that's about as far as like she's grade B at best, maybe grade C. She's not really that high up there. So it's, 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 if you really want to build Fire Fist, I guess she's an option for you. Let me get some water. Now, we're looking at Earth here. Earth is in a similar state to, uh, to Fire, where your limited, like Alex and Kine, are so strong that the standard Earth unit looks like doo doo. So, you still have good picks, though, as in Siegfried. Siegfried's still a very strong pick. Water cut for five turns, I think. 20% damage cut, it's okay. Not nearly as good as it was in like a year or two ago, but still good. He does really good damage output with his skill too, though it's only for him. Not really supporting the team much. He's more of a selfish attacker. He does have his skill one for a party buff, but that, that, that's okay. I'll, I wouldn't really call it a selling point or anything. Still does good damage though, but eh. Grade B at best, grade C maybe on the low level. Yeah, I'll say grade C. I think grade C the unit that's kind of selfish, but does okay. Grade B the unit that has some kind of support, I guess. And grade A is a unit that does both. And in grade S is Athena. <laughs> Just Athena though. No one else is grade S besides Athena in my opinion. And Urias. <laughs> and Urias. How can I forget but those two units are special cases. They're, 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 they are in a little small minority. We don't count them. Now, Sara is still a, a strong pick, but her viability has lowered due to the recent change to Fa. Before, Fa used to have um, no damage cut, like no Phalanx or elemental damage cut. My fault. No white damage cut. So that would be Phalanx, Athena, anything like that. That didn't work for the first turn on Overchain. Um, now it works, so Sara kinda loses her viability. She's still a strong unit, but that was her main selling point before. Now she's not nearly as strong, so still a strong unit, but now you can also run other units instead of her. Other units being the one down here. Also, I'll give her like a B, a B pick, maybe C pick. B is for Fa. If you don't, if you're not ready for Fa, then she'll be a C pick. But a better unit will be DLF right now for Fa. Um, her skill two I prefer over um, over Sara because of the fact that her skill not skill two, her skill three. I apologize. Her skill three is a better skill right now because it stacks with Phalanx. Um, Sara doesn't have any skill that stacks with Phalanx, so you can't end up getting stuck. Mainly when it comes to the ten percent. Uh, the ten percent or any triggers really, you can get stuck with Sara. While DLF, he does have the uh, reflect, which does count as a damage cut. So I, if I had to pick one, DLF is probably the better unit right now, in my opinion. You may disagree with that, but hey, she got better thighs though. Can't disagree with that one. But yeah, I'll give DLF a grade B, grade B. Um. And uh, for Earth, I think that's about it. Those three units are the most notable ones. 
Medusa's okay pick. Uh, I don't think Medusa's really worth a surprise ticket though. She, she's cute, but cute can't carry you. She's okay though. I, I wouldn't really say it's right in current meta. She's worth a surprise ticket though. And hmm, as I mentioned, Bal would not be in surprise ticket. So Bal and this thing will not be in surprise ticket. So unfortunately, they won't be there. Arlume is okay, but Alex exists. So surprise ticketing Arlume will make you feel bad if you end up pulling Alex like a little bit after. <laughs> now we can go to Wind, Urius, S tier. Grade S. No question, debuffs, 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 debuffs. Debuffs again. <laughs> he does it all. He actually has pretty decent damage output actually as well. Um, depending on your pool, he does okay damage. Not as strong as the other monsters in Wind, but you can't compare them to like gods like Monkey, Neo, Grimnir. That's not fair. <laughs> when you compare everything to them, everything looks bad really, so. It's a little unfair. Um, other than that, when is in a really bad situation because when you compare the limiteds to everything else, even the GW five stars, it ain't, it ain't looking too good for the base units. I think the only really two notable notable units right now in when it would be Hellas. Hellas is okay. Um, her skill three being the strongest ability. Though it has a low multiplier, it's still a strong ability in the rock regardless, so it's okay. I wouldn't call it game breaking or anything. And wow. I feel like I talked too long. How long did the video be? 17 minutes? Golly. <laughs> I was not expecting this video to be so long. I think this is longer than my first video, but unfortunately. I'm doing it, and we're gonna keep going. The next unit will be she's in a hard place, right? Because of the way her passive works, it doesn't actually stack with everything. Her bonus damage on elemental attack up does not work with Rune Slayer, which really hurts her. Does not work with Neo, which really hurts her. And those two things, I, I have a hard time really pushing this unit on people while her win attack up being consistent it's really strong for double team on that's the only thing going for this unit uh i think she's still a strong unit but i have to give her grade b at best uh, if her passive worked with everything i would give her grade a but because her passive not stacking it hampers her overall damage output for the team so really unfortunate is this how the side games programs everything? She so gets kind of shafted. Uh, as I mentioned, these units will not be appearing in the surprise ticket, so don't even look at them. Now, light is actually really simple to pick because Zoe is a unit in light and she's a standard unit. Amazing at Yubaha high level, amazing at Fa. Really your end game unit, kind of like Athena. Just the only difference is that she's not that great at low level content. Athena's still viable at low level content. Zoe, eh, she, mm, she's not that great. She's overkill to be honest. So what you're really using Zoe for is high, high level content. She's where you hit end game and you're ready to carry. So. So especially if you're Magna, if you Magna, this is S, S tier, S tier. If you Magna, you get her, you run after her. But if you're Primal, eh, A tier, A tier. So still really, really strong unit. Um, combination with Vera, like you, you, what is it? What is the damage? You don't take it. So very, very strong unit. And, uh, For light, that's about it, really. Another, another strong unit is Charlotte. Your Bahamut high-level Slayer. Your I want to hit Cap with the crappiest grid I ever had. So 
see that unit for you if you have a really bad light grid and like man i was my light did damage oh let me pick this character that casually just caps with like no grid so really strong unit um she does take a little time to ramp up kind of similar to six but uh once it gets going big damage big damage this is her alone though she doesn't really buff the team she's a very selfish character but hey if she's done with 700k autos and your rest of your team does 100k autos it's a pretty good unit to me and that's about it for light light is a really in a weird situation you know fun fun being free song being free really strong units both of them song mainly for magna um fun fun for primal but they both can be swamped back and forth yep that's about it for light and now we had dark aka vampy element uh vampy godlike unit fits in current dark meta which is dagger actually really really strong dagger teams you got fairy grand you got near they're really throwing big numbers out there so vampy just fits in there you can throw her in slot her in she does big damage you got debuffs for you even though you already got it with fairy but she also debuffs you know 25 defense down dark she's got the spell which is really really useful she got delay which even helps you from top 10 and ogies she got mvp charms and she got a little bit of healing for herself so you know not bad unit at all i'll give her a great a pretty strong unit and we still have the strong unit the god of fa shiro aka i take no damage and i take give you like a million turns so uh very strong unit heals under 50 his skill two require allows him to just break the game for whatever reason i don't know why they, they just like hey bro you want to take no damage and counter sure yeah let me just not attack Ooh, what a demerit <laughs> uh, but yeah um very strong unit he also has phalanx but nobody hits his phalanx because his skill to draw you really need honestly if if i could replace his skill three with another skill two i would <laughs> that's like literally his best that's the only reason you use some of his skill two it's really 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 good i don't know why they made a skill two this good and this would be on other units but uh no he only has it so yeah very strong unit but purely for fa outside of fa he's a big fat f <laughs> he's only for a fa because his content's not hard enough like he he's only made for the highest tier of hard content and that's only one rate at the moment so unfortunately content's not hard enough for him i know kind of sounds weird but yeah and I, I think that's it for dark um the rest of the dark units you know they're good units like you have john i love john she's still a good unit early game helps a ton but i want to surprise take her in 2019 god that hurts to say though uh <laughs> i would not surprise to get her unless you want her weapon then you know surprise to get her uh other than that you know bay is still a strong unit to it in dark no not bad unit but i wouldn't surprise to get her either god darn Dark is in a really weird situation, right? You got all these amazing attackers, right? Bea, John, Naramea, Vate, Wolf. All these amazing attackers. And I can't recommend a single one of them. Why? Because they all do the same thing. Do damage. Ooh, damage. <laughs> uh, it's really weird. <laughs> like, I, I kind of want more utility now. In current 2019, I want utility. Everybody do damage. They all do damage. So, um, what I really want, what, what else can a unit bring besides the damage? So, those are my recommendations. This video is like 20 something minutes long. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave a like if you like it. Sorry it took so long. I kind of did all of this without any real planning. Though I do have a general concept on like everything in the game. But, you know, a little bit of rambling here and there like I'm doing right now. So thank you guys for watching and uh, goodbye.